Welcome back, guys, to Octopath Traveler 2, where last episode, Temenos fought his way through the rifted rock to confront Caldena, who had slain her questioning guard and unleashed the power of shadow upon the others she had brought with her into the cave. With Temenos finding Ort clinging to life, he stepped up to perform his actions as Inquisitor and punish the heretic who was enacting her revenge on humanity for the cowl's eradication. However, our foe was overtaken by the shadow she worshipped, becoming Caldena of Night as we ended her existence to bring this story to an end for now, as Temenos knows there is more to the shadow and the soon night shall fall. Temenos has learned the X skill Heavenly Shine, and the Scotland Mission Part 2 is now available. Well done, Detective. This was not my achievement. I had help from all manners of sources. The sources must be quite grateful to you. I wonder. Alas, there remain mysteries to be solved. Hmm, the life of a detective is anything but boring, I see. So it would seem, my work continues for the time being. I must say, I do rather miss the days of leisurely reciting the histories. Oh, shall I take up the detective work in your stead? Why, that would be an immense help. I may just take you up on the offer. <laughs> just say the word, we're in this together. Mysteries to be solved indeed. My email mystery in my head is like, so if I had the elemental defense buffs on the boss as well, how much damage do you think that would have been? <laughs> would I have been able to do the whole HP pool in one attack? <laughs> would we be approaching the 100k marker over three attacks? <laughs> we have two more final chapter bosses to go as our characters continue to swell in power and growth. So we may get nearer and nearer those markers. Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> Right, I'll take uh, Celtige Seduction. Add it to the group. Beautiful. Numbers of infected Sam's mind. That's what the late game of a JRPG is. <laughs> this is what we need, isn't it? Ty. Ty probably agrees. Thanks for the follow. We have to smash things. <laughs> we have to smash them real good. Anyway, that. our next chapter is Ochet's chapter. But first of all, we should take a trip to places that we have already been. To do the quests that we have left behind. So let's go to the Nameless Village first of all for that one quest in the corner. There's two quests here. Let's go for the one that was here first that we ignored. Up there. An additional quest has occurred. Eda ta Jolren Huzo for Pach Jogachi. Tug Iberg miss his gifoy gorf. His be ye foy gorf. A zufk miss. So begins the tale of gorf. Eda ta Jolren Huzo for Pach Jo. Okay, I think we need a translator. <laughs> now, I'm assuming the translator wouldn't be in this town. So that actually narrows things down quite a bit. So let's go to Beasting Village. And ignore the business we've got here. That is our next destination, though. We need to know if any of you speak Gorpf. Or want to be mugged. Hand it over. Goodness, aren't you an imposing presence? Yes, I, I like am. my odds. Thinking time. <laughs> You're finished. <laughs> hmm. I've seen worse methods. Bonk. That's because I can't leave the non green tick there, you know. It's starts watching gazing so beautiful is it now well I guess we need to coerce you really so we might need to get our searching team out to be perfectly fair does any of you know the old tongue the good old gorf days <laughs> does anyone know about gorf can anyone tell me about corn? 
I better equip that traveler's bow otherwise I can <laughs> put it as a thing for the greater good. I might sell it and the money might save the world. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's what's going on here. I'll take that. Totally 100%. We haven't had to talk to this person. A woman who lives in the village with her daughter. Her husband works on the ferry, spending long periods away from home, but her fearless daughter's exploits keep her so terrified that she hardly, barely has time to miss him, so she reasons it all balances out in the Thank end. Thank you. Hidden item is not what I want to find. I need to speak to a man or a woman about Gormf. I don't know Gormf. I'm Gormfless. I'm assuming we'd have to come here, you know what I mean? A young and happy-go-lucky beast thing who can't fathom why humans always seem so angry. Life in the village seems just about perfect to him. His latest hobby is finding animals and other objects in the pattern of stars that cover the night sky. I'll take that. I'm assuming someone is old. But maybe not this guy. I'll take that. He must have, like, a text entry for... Knowing the language, right? I guess I shouldn't discount the young as well. On that basis. Do you Gorp? She's got knowledge, but not in the Gorp. I'll take that. This one doesn't have Gorm. Cooking Enthusiast was a quest. Why are you here again? I mean, I'm pretty sure we already entered your place. Fool. Do you have Gorm inside? I can't move Juva, can I? That'd be amazing. Oh, I've been in here! Resistant that L is still like good, great gear. Perfect jerky and reinforcing jam. Well, that was beautiful. Well, that's another old guy. A beastling studying the ancient speech. Few are fluent in old beastling today, but he has managed to become quite proficient by learning fragmentary words and phrases from elders who remember them. His genuine interest in the subject makes him a quick study. Stick and stone won't break my bones, but it will give me the answer I hopefully need. Do you want to allure or not? You might want someone else to take you with us. We found our target anyway. Who has someone that they're guiding and who doesn't at this point? <laughs> I think our chat might not have someone. Unless it's that old man. <laughs> Suddenly think it's the old man. Did we want the old man for anything good? I can't remember. And we have, you want free jerky for this? Yeah, it's a scholar. That's more like it. All right, job go soy. There we go. Perfection. What do you two now here? And do you have any items? I've bribed you. That's for certain. I have a request. A beastling with weak constitution who nevertheless hopes to leave the island and pursue his interest in human scholarship. He hates to worry his older sister, who raised him after their parents died, but his curiosity burns too brightly to ignore. I was fun and got a present. All right, we better get that item then. Can't leave it behind. And back to the nameless village. Oh. 
But man, stop trying to pick apart game mechanics about me stealing stuff from people. <laughs> right. Gormf indeed. Yes, show that. Thanks. 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 So, ho ho, I'll try to fix it and get a good boy. Thanks, Talizuch. Alright, we got a stupefying stone axe and 10,000 in cash for uniting the Gorps. Ancient speech, very hard, but. Jolven, egg, f, oh ho So. It's 297 physical, 91 speed, slim chance to confuse target. Is what we've got there. Okay, we've got another quest on the board. Let's get you back in now you've done your job. Oh my god, there are actually people overtaking Casty on level. Oh shit, is a higher level than Casty. What the... What the actual? I thought they were getting close. Right, who are you? Ooh. Cute dancing, giving, giving. Are you here during the day? You are. I'm guessing I can't steal it. 15%. Not liking, go away. <laughs> 15% times 2. Okay, I'll buy it then. Go on. This is Shiluto, a beast thing conducting the trials in this land. He only leaves the village when someone comes to undertake the trial. Though there is no law binding beastings to the village, he is never left of his own accord out of sheer laziness. Regardless, he harbors a deep interest in the outside world. Thank you. And wishes for me to buy a new axe from him. Stat. So my fevery has failed. I know that has me painted as the very good guy in this equation. <laughs> Shush. Alright, well, Chet is next, so Chet's gonna get stronger than Casty anyway at this point. How much? 95,000. Raises potency of lightning and ice based attacks. Elemental attack 250 as well as the physical attack 400 is a very nice axe indeed. Gormf. So that's Much good for. Well, both Hunter and Apothecary. That's the ice and the lightning, isn't it? Very nice. So that said. Probably for you. On the basis of certain other things being around. You smart? One arrow right here. Looking. Thinking. Humans. Beastlings. We're different. We're same. Human feelings. Feeling what? Would know, but how? Sounds ringing. Humans happy, not hunting, only listening. Traveler's tale, sound tool, making sound. Named Loot? Loot ringing, what sound? Hearing happy? Even me? I have a loot. We got that loot stupid years ago. Loot. Oh. Oh. Like 
bird song, hearing happy, I like. Human feelings, now understanding a little. Now more, more learning, understanding humans. Mm. Humans carrying bundled paper, called books. But me, can't read, only pictures, understanding pictures. Paper play, yes, 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 very good. Paper play, would see. Yeah, I think we have this too. So loot I think we got in Psy. Correct me if I'm wrong. The paper play we got in Flame Church, I I thought. Obviously it's from one of the churchy places, but I'm pretty sure we have it. Yeah. Paper play. Yes, I see. Eight flames. They won. Vanquishing evil. Humans shining lived cheerfully, brightly. Humans remember, cherish flames, even now. But why? Why cherishing? Hmm. Of course, I see. Humans believe. Beliefs protecting, saving humans. More, 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 more learning, understanding humans. Learning much. How? With books? Reading now, I learned. Not much, but some. More books about humans would read understanding humans human history teach me please please okay so i either have an item for this already or i've got to bring a teacher to him i have a history book where on earth did i get that This human history? I studied, practiced, more reading, many words. Hmm. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived a man and a woman who were deeply in love. But they were a prince and princess of enemy kingdoms. And it wasn't long before war broke out because of their love. The two ran away, leaving their homes behind, and fled to a distant land. But the war went on. Even in their absence, their kingdoms continued to fight until everyone was dead. One arrow, I remembered. This arrow, killing weapon. Friend died, my friend. Who shot? Humans, humans searching, finding here. Not hunting, only killing. Why, why kill? No eating, no reason. So why? Why killing? Hmm. Would know. Would learn. Learning more. Learning answers. More questions. Long journey. No end. And yet, today, learning one thing. New feeling. Completely new. Rising inside. 
This arrow. Which human? Who shot? My feeling would kill a little. Then, sadness. Yes. Hmm. Well, am I more human? Tell me, thinking, speaking, am I? Hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye, then. We get a befuddling great bow for delivering those items. Yeah, I'd imagine that the book was from the uh, Pontwise Library. Telling us the tale that, of course, was said during uh, Mother's death. <laughs> Humans are complicated, therefore deep. Oh, really? <laughs> Not that deep. Same chance to confuse target. 337 physical attack. We got uh, two very strong bits, then, to add to our group. Right, well, that's the quest here done. And by the look of it, we get possibly a voiced quest after every story is done. So I might need to, like, backtrack through some places to figure out if I have or haven't got it. Uh, where was the other place we moved away from the quest from? Well, it's Gravel, that's for sure. But we should probably also hear the remaining stories from Temenos' chapter, right? <laughs> Their memories live on. Are you all right, Temenos? I'm just having a think. Reflecting on all that's been lost in the journey to this moment. Ah, yes, I know those thoughts well. Also friends with whom I shared a powerful vision. I can hear their voices when I think of them. And in so doing, they lend me their strength once more. You can become the mighty vessel in which their memories live on. And in turn, they will lend you their strength. You speak the truth. I do believe I've heard them speak to me. They tell me to reveal the truth. Nasty's encouragement to Temenos. I made some herbal tea, Temenos. It should calm your nerves and clear your head. Well, isn't this a lovely surprise? This is sure to help my deductions along. You're nearly there, aren't you? That I am. The mastermind is within reach. If there's anything I can do, just name it. I shall lend a helping hand however I can. Thank you, Casty. That's a short, sharp one. And that was it. The only ones we missed on that one. Okay, uh, we are here to do two quests. We've got our searchy people. Kind of. We've got Partitio too, but still. Where did that girl get herself off to? I don't see her anywhere. I hope she hasn't run off to the valley in the West Gravel Worlds. I told her so many times never to go there. It's full of dangerous monsters. I hope she hasn't gone looking for her sister. Oh, but if she has, then what do I do? There's a missing girl out there. Just in case this also sends me on a journey. Why? Why do the grown-ups keep stopping me from leaving the village? Don't they all get moved to tears whenever I burst out in song? If I make my debut as a singer, I'll be a star in no time. I just know it. Oh, they're the ones that don't like you, yeah. Man, there must be a way to sneak out of here. Oh, if the whole village went to sleep, I bet I could slip out with no one the wiser. I don't have enough drugs for that. Who do you need to go to sleep? Do you need everyone inside to go to sleep too? <laughs> what are you getting me to do? What am I willfully doing? <laughs> Good night. One. <laughs> two. Fool. <laughs> we went asked to work two shifts of work. I didn't have any drugs for that. Lay hell. Fool. Maybe we should stop calling them fools when we're knocking them <laughs> unconscious and all. Fool. Do you just need the relative path cleared or do you need more people knocked out? That's what I'm wondering. Good night. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> oh, that's all we needed. The outside people. 
Ah, oh, what? You put the whole village to sleep? I feel kind of bad about this, but... I'm sure they'll be happy when they learn our hometown was the birthplace of the greatest star who ever lived. I'll never forget the little people. I'll make sure to save a special seat for you when I put on my first big concert. Today, I take my first real step on the road to stardom. A gaudy hat was obtained. <laughs> Become more readily targeted by foes. <laughs> That's an excellent reward there. <laughs> Don't worry, the quest giver for my other quest isn't gone. So there's people out there. Just wondering what group I should go with. Uh, should I go with Hikari, Agnia, Ochet, and Partitio? For the next go. That's what I'm wondering. I might take Temenos, Oswald, and Frone now, and uh, head out to enjoy myself in the nighttime beauty. West is this way, right? Hopefully, it's got a marker on the map. Okay, maybe not. Wait, you haven't gone into the dungeon, have you? Where was I? That could make it quite a bit harder to fight. Oh yeah, you've got a new ability. What to do? Right. Well now. And you're lacking any ability. Forgive me. To give you a secondary job in this group, I feel. Sure, Hunter Cassidy will be fine, right? Actually, with that battle tested axe. Oh, something totally tells me this person's gone into the dungeon. <laughs> Let's play. Oh, well, there's elementals. That's pretty cool. And we've got our thief. Ready? Who's, of course, going first? Boo! Boo wins! Heavy footed, aren't you? Okay, you can just one shot with that. Now then. Pierce the winds of frost. Oh god! Study harder. They uh, do more damage now than I remember them doing. I need a plan. My plan? Huh? Pierce the winds of frost. Was to put cat ears on Casty. I've seen plan worse success. methods. The valley in the West Gravel Worlds? That's definitely a dungeon. Oh, man. Do be gentle. My turn. That's definitely the dungeon. Right. Hmm. Here's the winds of frost. She's too fast! I've gained valuable insight. Are we be Bot raided again, are we? Hold the line, mods! Like, bot, get to work! Yeah. The Ivory Ravine. Danger level 50. No! I'm not supposed to be going on side quests like this! I need to go towards the next dungeon. Time to clean up the filth. 
these guys are just going to get even more powerful. What to do? What to do? Ah, axe attack. Where are you taking me? I need a plan. Strike them down. Finished. Ready? You're too kind. And so it goes. Is there a save point down here? If there's a save point down here, there's a boss down here. There's a save point down here. Oh, God. That's where she is, then. Okay, we got a Lost Tribe's Axe, which, again, is another negative stat one. Slim chance to confuse targets. You're currently got the Lost Tribe stuff on, but you don't have a spot for an axe. And what do you? Do be gentle. Very well. Well, I guess at least I've got our fast crew. He's on. My turn. Ah. Darkness descends. Have you an elemental weapon yet? No. What to do? What to do? Uh, axe attack. I know no cure for evil. At least we've got Casty back in the group for a bit. Like, do the side quest he said he'll do. Ugh. Oh, I thought it'd be something simple like giving in items. <laughs> Like the other ones were. What to do? Turns out no. Uh, right. Thinking time. Uh, Pierce the wings of frost. Incorrect. Study harder. You never know. I might get a really nice item for it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And not death, maybe. Are you my next patient? Stout. My turn. Oh, we know this squad is... Right. Pretty I battle handy. Fire. Burn. One of them survived. Where was I? Two of them survived. He's on. That's how it's done. I realize I've got two apothecaries oh, in the group goodness. right now. What a that was. I've got good healing. I just have to hope the other two is going to do damage. That's what we'll have to believe in, right? <laughs> 